Hello and welcome back to round 11 of the Bochum Regional 2020. I'm joined here by Martin this morning. You just casted round one, right? How was that? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I like to see some mirror match because like, it shows how well people know their deck and how, pe know, how well people know to play against that. So I, am, I enjoy a mirror match from time to time, but now we should try to shake it up a little bit and have something different on stream. Like decks like we have we have had decks like this before on stream so uh, it's fine but yeah uh, we have on the one hand we have Jasper Eriksson with his trusty PGO to control he exactly. he knows the deck sorry guys <laughs> I know you just woke up and you need to <laughs> see stall but we had to bring it at some point and he's actually playing against Darcy Ryan coming all the way from Australia am I correct oh. in that Yes. Um, and incredibly, uh, he's playing Art of Sylvian. Yes. Um, we'll see how this matchup goes, because usually on the pa on paper, what would you say is the favorite matchup? Probably PG Auto, right? Yeah, PG Auto's pretty favorite. Yeah, PG Auto, you know, uh, discarding all those energies from Gardevoir and Sylvian. Their acceleration requires them to have one energy already on the board, and they mm -hmm. need to switch, and, uh, you know, green decks are already susceptible to stamps, but in the moment you're bringing the fact that he's going to also look at your top deck with the ice pick, What's gonna happen? Yes, yeah, but like still, um, from time to time, I enjoy just watching a little bit of stall because you know the people who play stall are usually like guys who have a lot of knowledge about the game indeed, in general indeed. or have a lot of skill, and yeah. Um, yeah, you still need to execute on your strategy and you need to execute it properly. And what is actually really interesting that there has been a deckless error earlier in this tournament for Jasper so oh he's really? actually playing no stadiums but Ooh. more energy <laughs> because wow. um, there was something wrong with this deck list but he I was talking to him earlier and he was like yeah profound knowledge is actually a very good attack and Indeed. since I have more energy Indeed. I use it wow, a lot wow look at that's that. a good start we already started and look at Jasper he just played the Elms um, lecture and he's looking for his deck for more PGs but actually looking at these prizes he does have Two PGs. That's gonna be at least one draw less, because usually you know yes. you have just three PGs on the board, and you're gonna uh, slowly but steadily build up your deck, build up your hand, drawing mm -hmm. from your deck. But that's gonna slow him down. This might be the chance for the Garbo Sylvan player to maybe pull off. Something. Maybe take a game. Yeah. Like if you knock out the PG, uh, the PG auto with the Ditto, Indeed. then uh, Jasper will only have access to two PGs for the rest of the game. And it's probably it, it is interesting, like that some Garbo lists have been playing the Oma start yes, for yes. as a counter to Doll stall and uh, for PGO control, PGO to control uh, especially. But Darcy isn't playing it currently, but mm -hmm. Jasper doesn't know. So yeah. uh, let's see if um, he will start to try to play around it eventually, as we see. Yeah, just the three three basics, two PGs, one Ditto on yeah. the bench. Jasper had an amazing start. Absolutely. Yeah, that's like, what yeah, you like already, to see. Already three basics. And Jasper does play the spicy Magnetone. Which mm -hmm. I think the ability is he gets knocked out and for free supporters. I think so it's when you evolve it, but we can put a scan on stream. Yeah, it's I'm pretty sure. You, you, you put it onto your Ditto, you, s you search your deck for three supporters. Like, it's, I think, um, when I saw him write about that on, I think, Facebook, he was like, yeah, it's really, really good if you get reset stamped and you need a big supporter combo pulled off. Uh, and yeah. then you just evolve into Magneton and you fetch all the supporters from a deck that you need. Like, for example, the Surge and Double Mass and, um, yes, be able to... Um, it's extra consistency, you know? Yeah, it's Especially definitely extra the consistency. The Pidgeotto sometimes, they do not give you the cards you want, but at the same time, you can have that. That's like yeah. a backup tool. And uh, incredibly, actually, um, Jesper plays uh, other interesting cards, I would say. He plays four Jesse and James. Yeah, he's really heavy on the discard. That <laughs> is amazing. Like, you s we've seen him playing two Marts and four Jesse and James. I don't think I've ever seen a, pl uh, a list with PJ Auto playing that many copies of it. And he plays one below Ben Bryson, man. Obviously, a win condition if you're going to mill over your opponent. Yeah, if you have them in the lock, just stop milling yes. them. And so let's see what Darcy's doing. Wait and see Hammer. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually a really good card against PJ Auto since I have this low energy count. Um, yeah, just, just playing four. Yeah, and then if like one or two energies are prized yes. and you get rid yes. of one and then you knock out like one more Anguru, then at some point the resource management has to go to put actually putting energy cards back in, which usually you want to 
shuffle back your disruption tools, not really your energy cards. So yeah, also the res one recycle energy is prized from Jasper. Oh, he's actually playing two, so he should have access to another one. Um, so yeah, as we see, uh, free PJ autos. He doesn't even need the um, he doesn't even need the magneton right now. He just yeah. went straight away for those PJ autos, and there he is, the magneton. And I think when you do that, you actually get knocked out. So that means you can search oh, yeah, okay. right away. That is really, really good. Oh, you and give your opponent a prize card. That's exactly. Super nice. That's th you know sometimes oh, you if right. you're playing against ADP, that doesn't even matter because they're not gonna draw um, uh, like an odd number of yeah. prizes in one go. Except you know if they have an Articuno, but in that case they probably would have lost if they have they start with an Articuno. And we see crushing armor already ahead. Wow. Three crushing armor. Jasper, Jasper is in. just wow. And two heads. This is terrifying. Darcy is laughing off because I don't think he has anything better to do. And <laughs> Jasper is like, management. well, just back. get back in. Guess hammers. what? Guess we're flipping again very, very soon. And um, Darcy, yeah, Darcy has a pretty good hand, but you know, sometimes the PJ Auto player just smashes that. It doesn't yeah. matter. You can have so many resources, but if you don't have the correct cards for PJ Auto. Yeah, let's actually talk about that. Stall decks. They use these niche cards that are not supposed to work like that. Because, yes. you know, Japan has these 25 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah. They print the cards with, like, in the 25 a minute format, best of one format yeah. in mind. So stall decks are not that popular Indeed. in Japan, but like here in Europe, we have 50 minutes best of three. So people find really a niche ways to abuse um, those cards that allow you to control your opponent's deck hand and board state. So Indeed. yeah, that's really interesting. You have al always, you have a lot of times you have those masterminds who come up like, yes, yes, with, yes. with the different deck ideas. like. Uh, a lot of the time Sanders doing it first or Alessandro and then <laughs> all of the other people do it as well. But yeah. this time it was actually like um, the p first iteration of PGO to control was actually brought by uh, DG to Worlds. So yes, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, I remember the list was very rough at the time. Yeah, uh, th but the idea stayed the same: Articuno to discard your energies. And right now, Celeste, uh, sorry, Cosmic Eclipse brought so many tools for it. It brought the Misty and Lorelei. Yeah, that means if you're able to, at a certain point, to establish board control, you can Articuno every turn. And that's such a good, like, there are not many um, water GXs in the meta right now and that, that have an interesting GX attack, but Articuno does. And that's really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, so this, it provides a really niche use for the Misty and Lorelei as well. It's pretty good to just grab your uh, energy cards uh, yep. out of your deck. As we see, like, this is what I really like resource managing back acrobikes. Yes. Like, when, when, I, when I play Vigilator Control, I a lot of times I just go for resource management, back three acrobikes or two acrobikes in the poker it's gear. so good. It mills yourself, but that's what you want. Yes. You really want sometimes to not have those many resources in your deck yeah, because sometimes you don't need them. Probably that's also a reason why uh, Jasper's playing so many Jesse and James because yep. he dis that discards the cards he doesn't want yeah. from his hand. So he's just left with the cards that he needs. As we see, the first knockout being taken, but Jasper doesn't uh, mind. Yeah, he, yeah, do yeah. he doesn't care. Tate and Liza shuffling back for Jasper. I feel he had a pretty good hand. I think he just wants to shuffle those cards that he put at the bottom. Mm -hmm. He knows that Crushing Armors are the card for this matchup. Yeah. So he's just looking for them. He's just saying, listen, I know what your deck does. I know you don't have energy acceleration from the discard. And I don't even think he plays the energy recycling system. Uh, no, I don't no. think so. Just looks looks very standard. What I... Um, I think like uh, Darcy is playing the Lugia GX and the Mega Lopani. Yes. I think that's really brave because you give yourself like you want to start with God of Savior on every mm -hmm. single time. Exactly. And if you play two GX Pokemon that um, they're not are not God of Savior, you are and he does much play free switches. Which yeah, but but still at the same you want time. to you want yeah, to you're start. You don't want to put it down because you're completely correct in that. It's a it's a card that you can't attach a fairy charm to, yeah. and it's just vulnerable to just being gusted up and knocked yeah. out. Like Lugia and Megalopani are not the sturdiest Pokemon; they're easy targets on your bench. So you see Cynthia and Caitlyn grabbing back the coach trainer, draw free, and well, he will take another knock on this turn. But that's all what Jasper wants. When you play against Pidgeotto Control, don't you feel you're just walking slowly to your death? Yeah. Like as soon as you draw <laughs> prize, you're like, that's what Carl Lesson <laughs> gonna draw off stamp. <laughs> that's not nice. Also, um. Yeah, something that's uh, maybe maybe could be interesting. Like, um, I was talking with some other guys um, who play store, like uh, Gabo from 
uh, from Germany. Mm -hmm. He was saying like, okay, if you can't lock your opponent's hand in some matchups, you just can't lock it because it was yes. baby blood cephalon yeah. and stuff. You just go and Jordan. mill them aggressively, yeah. and that could also be a strategy um, that Jasper could try to implement at some point because. Yeah. Darcy is actually not playing any shuffle draw supporters and he has been drawing quite a few cards That's from his true. deck. And he's counting now. Yeah. Maybe he wants to lock his hand, which I think Yeah, I think I think locking his hand better. in this game yeah. is like the is a good strategy. But like like just in general, sometimes you can't lock it because your opponent plays Pidgeotto when yeah. you play versus Pidgey Blounce, for example. You just go mill as aggressively yeah. as possible. And as you said, Cosmic Eclipse. That mean uh, as you just said, milling was thanks to Cosmic Eclipse, thanks to Belelb and Bryson, man. Yeah. As you just said, milling now is another win condition for these decks that before just needed to grind out opponent, meaning that in the 50 minutes format, stall decks will just get stronger. I don't know about next meta, what do you think? You know, no supporter turn one, it's interesting. Yeah, I think the meta has, like, I, I feel like stall decks are always, like, abusing a niche in the meta. Yeah. Um, and we have to figure out what the meta is first before yeah. <laughs> we can uh, we can see what um, like how, how stall decks will adapt it. I think yeah, at the first one or two tournaments, maybe stall won't perform as well. But after that, we will see it rise back up. I yeah. have talked to uh, some players about like maybe wall stall could make a return. Like yeah, we have humongous way. HP yeah. with the 390 maybe. HP Snorlax V Max. Yeah. Um, with the with buff padding, for example, so you Indeed. could go back to to that, like when I your opponent not. isn't able not. to. I I I have to be honest. I liked wall stall way more than wow. I like watching PG. But guys, you hear that? Chat, you hear <laughs> that? We have a stall over here. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh I'm God. very very sorry. Stall like I used to play Zapdos beasts at the time, and this was just like playing on wall stall was the most heartbreaking. Yeah, things. I always like to see yeah. when my opponent flipped up Zapdos. I was like, yeah. GG. <laughs> you, got a, you got a good dig. Yeah, <laughs> let's look back in the game. So yeah. Jasper right now is digging. He's looking, he played an Apu, you know, yeah. the Tord card. And uh, he's Apu's looking for so more. Apu's so nice in yes, this deck. I like it so much. And Mars throws two, discards one random card. He's, he's going to hit an energy. I think Darcy has an energy. Yeah, that's like the... That's going to be heartbreaking. Okay, okay. Poke Gear. Probably don't need that. Mm -hmm. but look at look at the energies. Like, uh, Darcy had two energies in the prizes. He actually drew them both. That's really so, nice. But right. at the same time, he's limited to nine fairies. Which is going to... By the way, guys. F in the chat for fairies, not anymore among us, but <laughs> you know. So yeah, Jasper right now needs an energy. He has three energies in the discard, and Darcy just put three energies uh, up his discard, so he's probably gonna notice. But Jasper, you know, he's a really good player, so he probably already knows that. One tails on the crushing hammer. <laughs> Let's see. And there's one, one head. So I think he's no. about even. Yeah, he's gonna put two and two. Right it now. doesn't matter because these Pokemon. Did you notice how GX tag teams generally have these free energy attacks? Yeah. And I think Pokemon has three really like three energy yeah. attacks, like one sixty for three, one fifty for three. It's really really common. <laughs> yes, and also triple acceleration energy for evolutions. Let's see what Jasper gets back here. Two catchers. If he does not get an energy, he might lose. Does he have any way to... He has more energy. Oh, he has one energy. And also there's recycle energy on the active, so that need... Ha w like, oh Darcy yeah, would course. need to farbar that, yeah. and also the second recycle yeah. energy is price. So, like, Darcy doesn't know, but yeah. if he would farbar this recycle energy, then it would... Uh, Actually, I'm mi I was misled, because um, in the list it says two water energy, but obviously he was given the game loss because yeah. of the error, so he was substituted with basic energies. Yeah. So he does play more energy. I think he plays two more, like... Yeah. Um, that would make sense. Two extra basic energy. Yeah. So he plays actually four water and two recycle. Yeah. I think. Let's see Darcy what can he pull off. Obviously, if he takes a knockout on the Ditto PG Auto, that's going to be very helpful. But does he have the energy? I, I don't see one right now in his hand. Uh, fairy Song. Let's see if there's an energy in the deck. Yeah. There's one. There's two. Mm -hmm. He puts himself into risk on the if bench. he puts them both there, because then the Articuno is going to come knocking yeah, at the door. He can't yeah, put them smart. anywhere else, right? Because that's smart, one energy. Yeah, you only put one. It's then fine. again, if you, like, after the Articuno does his job, this, ga this, this game, it's over, basically. Um, obviously, the um, Guard of Sylveon has that magical miracle attack, and mm -hmm. if you can pull it off, it's insane. Yeah, that's but it's so hard, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard to pull it off versus Pidgeotto control. Like, you disrupt your opponent really heavily with it, yep. so 
Um, it's really nice, but yeah, it's super hard to pull off. Like, uh, due to the constant crushing hammer spam from yeah. Jasper, like he's putting crushing hammers back every single time. He knows, like, I, oof, I don't even need to like. If I flip heads oh on about like 50, 40 percent of these, I'm fine. I'm good yes. to go because I just have so many. And if you don't so want to take the 50-50, you also have the will supporter. I don't think he plays it. No, but he doesn't I, I'm play a personal. It. I, I really like it. Like it's uh, basically um, what was the card? The one you discarded two and discarded an energy. What was the name that we had? Plumeria. Before? Plumeria. There we go. Uh, it's a Plumeria for one less card. So yeah, basically. Yeah, it's a bit of a resident sleeper match, but after you know Pijota is set up. It's really, it's, it w hopefully, I mean, all the luck to Jesper in the tournament, but hopefully we don't have to feature him again or any Pidgeotto <laughs> because ah, it is threatening to. So, Jesper right now, I think he is using uh, resource management. Yes, resource management. Gets back three cards, and let's see what Darcy Setting up draws. eventually for, like, you try to put uh, uh, put your combo pieces back yeah. in slowly right now because if you get reset stamped eventually, then. Uh, Bench is a little funny. Interesting. And reset stamps. Reset stamp, you know, against stall decks, it's really it's we saw it, really we good. We saw it yesterday, right? Yeah, Versus exactly. the uh, when Zender Wedgic played against the Nagalot, like yeah. um, he was constantly that. was reset being reset stamped to three. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Zender still worked his way out of it. And this is just a reset stamp to six, so Yes. Uh, there we go. Smart play, custom catcher on the Ditto uh, and draws with the other custom catcher. It does draw attack switch. Which means one energy is going to go into the active. Th which means if they are active to get Articuno or Trainer to be discarded from there, it will pretty much be game over. Yeah, so, so let's see where this goes. On the active one. So yeah, just probably six, hands, uh, six cards in hand, obviously. And he's going to draw one less card with the Pidgeotto. And very smart play here from Darcy, moving the changes yeah, in the back. like the only thing that you can do. Right? The storm. That's the best thing you can. So yeah. just uh, resets them, take out as much uh, as many uh, Pidgeotos as possible. Aye. So let's see, Jesper is looking for his discard. He's just yeah. gathering up. I think he has a Palpad, eyeing up those two supporters. Yeah. Yep. Palpad is also another card. It's basically a resource management by itself. Mm? Yeah, Palpad is super efficient. Basically your resource management for four cards every turn. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Stolex as well, they lost the possibility to play the Gladion card. Which yeah, uh, so you o you always need to play like very important, very when you have very important cards <laughs> for your combo, you always yeah. need to play two of two them off, because yeah. uh, one of them is prized. Yeah, you you're basically start off, screwed. You start off with like six cards in your lost zone, so it's yeah, you much. like basically it's six cards you will never have access to. Yeah, that's right. So Justin James does not take uh, as we said four copies of Justin James. That's really interesting, especially considering it's really heavy. Yeah, yeah probably since uh, you can start the lock very early. Or just cut off the resources from your opponent punishes uh, decks that go, you know, very aggro. And uh, yeah, I think it's actually a very smart play. We we, we 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 did not see it because you know these green decks have these massive hands, and that's probably what Jesper wants to avoid to have them these massive hands by already discarding, uh, reset stamping them. Maybe they want to have four. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, just go uh, uh, reset stamp double Jesse James with the search. That's true. Yeah, as we see, crushing hammer spam continues and oh. other heads. This is unstoppable. Why why play Will? Just roll heads. Forehead. And resource <laughs> management. Puts back Crushing Hammer. Acrobat, as he said. Yeah. It's a very smart card, especially since one of the Pidgeotto is now down. But there's no point to put back the Pidgeotto because... Yeah, the other one, the, the other Dito. two are in the prize cards, so... Yeah, and that one was the Yeah, Dito. Jasper only has access to two airmails per turn now, so... Ooh, Darcy plays one copy, I think, of the... Um, I speak like, I think that's the name. Um, the axe that looks at your opponent top three cards. Let's see. We don't see it on the list. Oh, yeah, no. No. Well, interesting. No, he's playing Island Challenge Amulet, too. Like, I, I see... I, um, Is that an Island Challenge Amulet? Yes, this one. Yeah, I don't see what it was in his end. I might have uh, so wrong. But in any case, uh, uh, he does play this uh, one copy of Island Challenge Amulet, and th in this like that. green decks, it's very good because you will have a 160 HP Pokemon, but then you're gonna reset stamp your opponent to one card if he takes a knockout on a Guardian and a Guardian with a tool. As well, you know, Guardian uh, is surviving as well because there is no item removal. Yeah, also, tool also, removal. I now like if I think about it, like you just. Um, Attach it to one of your God of War Sylvians at some point. You attack for 150 with Kaleidostorm, and then you just move all the energy away. Indeed, indeed. And then 
yeah, you have 160 HP, but you don't care about the two prize cards you b give to your opponent, basically. Exactly. So I really like that inclusion. That's pretty smart. Ooh, we might see the Justin James coming down now. Uh, Jasper is eyeing up the Lieutenant Surge and the Justin James, which yeah. is going to leave Darcy with just... He has four cards in his hand, I think. He's just going to play one uh, Justin James, mm -hmm. and he's probably going to discard. And oh, Darcy has, I think, a switch. And those two cards you just discarded, and a Malan Lana. Discarding reset stamp. Yeah, that's interesting. But I think it's fine because Jesper will slowly build up his end since he has just two PJ Auto. And I think he just announced that, um, uh, what is it called? Resource management? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just PJ Auto. It's just a loop. Oh, Darcy just drew the Fava. If you yes. fab, yeah, that's okay. insane. Okay. Actually, I mean, there's a group with the energy there in the, the um, in the active, but if that one dies, then if he does not draw the energy, which at the moment is at the bottom of the deck, Darcy might yeah. still off this game. You know, against these Pidgeotos, you always feel like you almost have the game, but then they pull off something. Yeah, they're gonna surge, oh. Faba for there's his own. Oh, you know okay. what's happening now? That should be game if it actually happens. There's and a Rosa. Rina. Like, that's the last Rosa, energy, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah it, does the last energy. But it does have the Articuna, so... Yeah. Yeah, Darcy and is nodding. I think there are no energy left in Darcy's deck, so... Yeah. And interestingly, Jasper plays only one copy of the Articuna. He's rel much reliant, uh, much more reliant on this Jesse and James and hand disruption. Yeah. And Darcy, yep, there we go. Cold Crush GX, very smart play by Jasper. Lost zoning his own power plant, which would have prevented to, uh, what is it called, like ascension, something ascension from the Articula yeah. GX. Um, and there we go, we're going to game two. Jasper is leading at the moment. And He's go he goes up to 1 and 0, but. Yeah. yeah, we'll see how it goes because you saw it was quite close, and obviously all those heads really helped him out. Yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, if you just flip a bunch of tails, then yeah. uh, it's just very unlucky. But yeah, it just just was like, yeah, I'm going to just resource management them back every single turn and just keep spamming those crushing yeah. hammers. It's really effective against those decks that rely on, like, Adobo even has energy acceleration from the deck, but still. <laughs> Needs uh, the manual attachment every single turn indeed, indeed. to build up to uh, GX attack eventually. Yeah. So yeah, if you just spam the crushing hammers, it's impossible for God of War to GX for the full six yeah. uh, at at any point in the game. So and we see them shuffle up. I think uh, one thing like sometimes the Pidgeotto control doesn't really cooperate. Like if you don't start Elms, then it can be a quick game if your opponent is able to take advantage of that and bench you out. But yep. God of War is not exactly the best deck to do that no, because you need to all. attack <laughs> with fairy song at the first turn and yeah. then you can start Kaleidos storming energy uh, with with the three energy so yeah it's a uh, pretty pretty tough because like otherwise so slow and gives Articuno and uh, gives Pidgeotto yes. so many turns to set up. You know, the Omastar tech that people play in green decks generally is very helpful uh, against because they cannot crush and hammer you, and especially since you're so reliant on energies, you will basically exploit that fact by locking their items, and you will always have less Pokemon than them. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for them to play with just, I don't know, uh, one Pidgeotto, because you would probably just have two Guardians in play, and that's it. Yeah. Um, or maybe... Obviously, yeah, obviously the Star. Maybe just even one Guardian. Even one guard. Yeah, yeah, I think you just bench one guard or get the Fossil yeah. out, and then your opponent can't really play Crushing Hammer as well. Yeah, like, exactly. So. And he can't cycle through a steak. As we take a look at the prize cards for yes. Jasper. So one PG this time and two crushing hammers. Oh, nice. As yeah, nice for Darcy, I guess. Yeah, indeed. Um, Darcy is molding it in, obviously playing uh, six Pokemon, has its own risks, giving the Pidgeotto players more cards. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Darcy needs to really put on the gas. He's going first, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, or might he might even choose to go second. What do you think? Because a fairy song in turn one can be really helpful. Especially considering your opponent will try to discard that energy. Obviously, more yeah, modern energy attachment is helpful. Okay, I, yeah, I see, I see that. Um, and then you, yeah, you need to think like, um, okay, um, my again. opponent is an evolution deck, so if he goes first, he has the time to put all his basics down. Yeah. So yeah, there's always the struggle between. Like you need to, you need to think about those two things and how much a one or the other will benefit you or m will make you struggle in your yeah. game plan.
So. Well, the judge here, Marco P, cannot really do much. He's just watching the guard of war just getting milled out. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, the, especially since you have these interesting interactions with these cards, especially Pijoro is explo exploiting, it's mm -hmm. always helpful to have a judge. And remember, guys, if you're at a tournament, you don't know what's happening, call for the judge. Mm -hmm. They're there for a reason. Yes. They're going to help you out. It's their job. Yeah. And uh, now let's take a look. At what Two energy sprites for the Darcy. And Two the choice Fava. helmets. Don't need that. Yeah. But the other cards. The other cards are very important. Yeah, let's switch now to main game. Let's focus on these players. Yes. So Jasper Eriksson, what a player! Yeah, he's pretty right? like he's he's pretty accomplished and he's pretty yeah. pretty good. Um, he's those he's players that you don't. He's one of those in the category of I don't want to go against him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so Jasper Eriksson attaching a recycle energy on the PJ, which obviously basically grants him free retreat. Yeah. And Professor Nam's lecture eyeing up already one of those PJ auto. Look at that what? quick shuffle. With the cards into his hand. Yeah, I really like that. Um, like when when people play Pidgeotto, it always requires also a lot of like. I wouldn't call it mechanical skill, but it's still like you need to do physical actions on the board by yes. like airmailing, putting cards at the bottom. APM. And then <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's it's basically like the APM, term right? I would I would use. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, your actions are yeah you do a lot of actions, and that's why. It it takes so long, but a good player like like we saw that like Jasper was basically able to seal up the game in 25 yeah. minutes, so that's not too bad. Like even even if Darcy doesn't concede, Jasper would have been able to loop indeed, just indeed. loop and then maybe mill him out in about it's 10 minutes more. So yeah. if you're a really good Pidgeotto player, you can finish games in like 30 to to 35 minutes. Um, but yeah, sometimes sometimes obviously yeah. it takes a little bit longer if you're struggling in the beginning or Indeed. anything. Uh, but yeah, if you're a good PG player, that, yeah. that's what I like about it, kind of, yeah. because you, you can finish. Practice. Yeah, you, it leads a lot of practice. It's skill intensive. It's also the physical actions that are required are skill intensive, so you don't mess up anything. Ooh, reset stamp. Thing. Yeah, reset stamp early. Love that. Yeah, Darcy knows that Jasper has two Pidgeotos in his hand. He's like, okay. Please also those mulligans. Also yeah. those mulligans. Yeah. Please don't draw elms. Please yeah. don't draw pidgeys and no poker gears. <laughs> Just and break then low. <laughs> yeah. I guess like sometimes that's your only out, right? Yeah. The Gardevoir, obviously, I think I saw a supporter. I don't know what he was. Obviously, he plays so many supporters. But the Gardevoir sealed in deck needs that setup. And he is very weak in those first turns. Mm -hmm. Well, I think also we looked at the decks of day two. We saw a lot of Picaroms at the high tables. Mm -hmm. I think also Picarom, as we said before, it exploits the green decks being so slow. We just had a Picarom uh, mirror as well. Yeah. And he saw that the one that was the fastest also was the one that won. Yeah. And uh, these That's Guardian um, players obviously do not play anymore the Lightning tool. And uh, they dropped some of the other tools, like for example, he just plays one of the psychic tool from Darcy's side, um, and they became much more reliant on just the sheer power of Guardian One Sylvian, the general acceleration, mm -hmm. um, tanking out damage using Malolana to heal yourself. In the end, uh, these um, green uh, decks, as we said, are dominating up until now, but we'll see actually what gets in top eight. Because remember, this yeah, is the second really round of day two, which means there's three more rounds. And there's actually a Mewtwo, which is 10-0. So yes, I exactly. guess uh, Brian the he's doing Mewtwo still going strong. He's still going very strong. <laughs> you know, as we said before, we were discussing uh, with Connor what is actually the VDF. And Mewtwo seems very solid. It was at the high tables. It also was one of the deck winnings. And we'll see what Jasper will do here. Yeah, he did actually not didn't play an Elms, so he played yeah. a Hapu and got a Pidgeot of it. So Indeed. Um, just get a little a bit of a gear. slower start, but he should still be fine. Like versus any other deck, he would be in a little bit of danger, I think. But yeah, like this, it is it is fine. <laughs> because God of War just needs to fair song and get energies into play. And it could be threatening, you know, because right now the Guardian player has four energies on the board. Mm -hmm. If Jasper, that has two crushing armors in the prizes, does not discard any of those energy and Darcy hits the energy attachment, that's going to be troubles. Yeah, we could actually see a magical miracle for six energy and just shuffling in Jasper's whole hand. I mean, like the one deck where it's not as effective again as the others is like versus Indeed. Pidgeotto Indeed. decks Indeed. because they can just airman and then just add to their hands slowly. Yeah. Um, Obviously, uh, Jasper will have 
Pikachu, uh, as you just said, they, they do have those, uh, those uh, hand like control and drawing those cards. Um, but if Darcy is able to keep up also the pressure on those Pidgeotos and stop uh, these birds from multiplying, it might happen. But actually, I think he missed the energy attachment for this turn. He does not have it. Yeah, maybe he will just go Fairy Song again. Um, yeah, that could be an interesting move, especially considering Jesper next turn will just Elm's Lecture. And if you do not take the knockout here, Lieutenant Surge is not active. So mm -hmm. that could be a good, a fair point. And in fact, he's going for the fairy songs. I do like this. Yeah. Two energies there. I oh. mean, Jasper will probably get like four birds yep. on board next turn. So that's Indeed. the downside by of not knocking out anything. Uh, but yeah, I think I don't even think Darcy had like a whole lot of other options. Yeah. Um, Darcy is pretty um, hand control proof right now. He has like what ten cards in his hand. So yeah. this Jesse and James shenanigans will not happen. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, Jesper might get the Magneton that we just mentioned. If he's able to get that, then that means that he will go under in prizes. But actually, he's just going to play the just Elm right away, yeah. which go means for the elves. no Lieutenant Surge, but obviously a lot of setup. And Esper, Jesper, interestingly, plays that Mew tech, which is really yeah, good. I, I think you need Mew. Yeah. Hopefully, currently. it's one of those, that especially against since Tina Chump is in the meta, and he can just yeah. snipe your birds with the Roxy. It just goes 40, 40, yeah. 40. Even even without Roxy, like the, co the yeah. pure green spirit, you just go. It just goes 40, 40 every turn, and then yeah. um, do you yeah, know you struggle. Do you know what Jasper stadiums? What were they before they were removed? Uh, I think it was power plant. No sky pillar. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm going yeah. to ask him after maybe. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and yeah, also some guys like I, I've seen some guys play like really heavy sky pillar, like three sky pillar. Yeah, I do like and, that. And one champions festival, I for do example. Like that. For yes. Just if your opponent spreads damage on your board, yeah. just heal that off. The, see the uh, third bird coming down. Yes. And there's a magneton actually off Ooh, the there off it is. the um, airmail and see retreat. It's on the Mew. Mew. Yeah, obviously you don't need that yeah, you don't matchup. Yeah, uh, actually that's a really smart play to search out the Mew because a you can't guarantee the Orangaroo of the airmail. Exactly. And you exactly. don't want to sacrifice either your Ditto or your birds. So you just search out the Mew and that's kind of sacrifices. Father. Yeah. So like this is, um, even though Jasper has a very favorable matchup, he's still playing it optimally. And yes. uh, yeah. But look at that. Darcy has six energies on the board. And also yeah. he top decked the custom catcher, so he doesn't you know need two greens for it. You know what that means? That we might see a magical miracle. Does he have the tag switch in hand? In any case, he has the green if he wants to look yeah, for it. Yeah, but I think he has to knock out the magneton if he wants the magical miracle, because otherwise yep. Jasper can just search Indeed, but he does have those custom catchers. So green exploration. Yeah. We'll probably see it. Uh, he already has the switch in hand he's probably setting up also something for next turn this might be the gas that the guardian player actually needs this turn oh that's a full art power plant isn't it now full art stadiums so sick the, but they're so expensive though. i know <laughs> but they're still not the shrine of punishment Full art is so beautiful <laughs> so darcy's thinking he's saying what should i do now do I have the tag switch? Do I have the cards? Do I actually want to do that? Because yeah, obviously, I think you, you do need that. to commit as early as possible because if mm. you commit later to I'm that play, I'm not sure because at, at this time, you have if you if you go later, as you said, um, then the, you already might have established you know the lock and everything, but right now he's just gonna have to climb all those prize cards. He's mm -hmm. still at six prize cards. Yeah, but if you commit later, mm -hmm. then uh, Jasper will already have thinned out You're his right. deck by You're the right. like all have thinned out all the dead cards of his deck yeah. because Jasper knows that that uh, that the magical miracle is the um, you are correct you are attack correct. that Darcy is trying to work towards. Kaleido storm. Yeah, Kaleido storm. Just move the energy around. So okay, never mind. Don't move he the energy need. around. It's still four and three. So yeah, he can just greens for text, which exactly, if he wants to exactly. commit to the magical miracle. So Jasper right now has one less pigeon on the board. Mm -hmm. Which means one less draw. But does he have? There's the wrong guru. Does he have so a way to retreat? He can resource yeah, management yes. probably. Yeah, recycle energy. And there we go, Rina. Uh, Rosa, sorry, that's the Italian name for it. <laughs> and it's really good, especially in this kind of decks that do not take knockouts and feel like they will take a knockout. Yeah. Uh, they will be knocked out. And it's really good because it gets you maybe a trainer you need in the specific matchup, a Pokemon, which is always. Yeah, we hand. don't have. We don't really have universal Pokemon search. Yes. Like we will next. We have. We, we have next. We have communication, but it's like kind of awkward because you yeah, need to have a Pokemon, Pokemon in your hand. So I feel it's a feel bad moment when you don't have it. You're like, <laughs> you just why get the like, uh, Okay, I guess. Crashing Hammer Tails. Okay. All those heads from before. Darcy likes to see that. Balancing out. Jasper. 
Yeah, retreat. Go I don't for think the he's in a hard spot still, but no, he still, he still can work with this. Oranguru on the active. Darcy might just go for some knockouts on the birds. Maybe this turn is actually the turn to go for the magical miracle. Mm -hmm. Because all, back. yeah, if he gets a knockout on one more bird, then. Jasper only has one Pidgeotron yeah. on board, and I mean he can go with the Magneton, but... The Magneton, yeah, that's threatening. I do like that, I do like the Magneton. I feel people should just, should be a staple in this deck, because it just gives you, uh, it's sort of a Miss Magus, I would say. Like, you're stamp proof, and uh, yeah. also, um, you know, when you get Magical Miracle, probably the Soul player does not feel like he will get Magical Miracle. Oh, reset stamp. That's very nice. Yeah, just throw a reset stamp in there for good measure. Disrupt the hand. I think that's probably either his last one or the yeah. second to last one because one was discarded pretty yes, early. Yes, you're right. And uh, yeah, I don't think uh, the third one has been played. Um, so probably there's one more left. Um, as you see here, just by drawing six cards. And um, maybe we see um, him move the energy around now, but it doesn't look like it. And so yeah. card draw for Jesper. He does have one of the Pokemon Fan Club. I think this is the only deck that plays that card. Yeah, Fan Club is really good. I like that too. Uh, because like if you need the you get out, Articuno. Yeah, it gets the you out for Articuno. And you have more outs to be Pidgey uh, in the early game. Ten surge and Pokemon Fan Club. Obviously not shuffling his deck because he's going back in. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he grabs. I think it will grab. Will he go for the Articuno right now? That means no magical miracle uh, uh, mm, will happen. I think turn? it's a bit early to go yeah. for it. Oh, he actually shuffled back one. Um, one of the birds. One bird, yeah, to just r be able to reset it up. He wants, yeah, he wants three birds on board. Yeah. Darcy might go for the play next turn because at the same time, Magneton, as we said, gets knocked out by himself. So that means one less prize that Darcy has to draw. And actually, if um, their Articuno gets knocked out here, that's two prizes. And that means stamp to one, obviously. But at the same time, it's one less prize for Darcy. So the Articuno, as you said, maybe later. It needs to have the. Um, it needs to have a better timing. Yeah, you see Reason here, stamp. like, uh, Jasper's trying to get rid of the his Hapu, own cards yeah. quite aggressively Indeed, because he knows that the magical miracle is coming or reset stamps are coming at some point in this game. So yeah, I really like that play. Just throw all the cards that you don't need away and um, yes, indeed. Yeah, give your opponent as little chance as possible yeah. to win. Jasper, um, as we said, has two hammers in the prizes, which yes. means you can see that since all of those energies that Darcy has in play, he has seven out of the nine energies he plays. And uh, he's still milling Jasper. Look at him. Acrobike, two card less in the deck that you don't want to draw the, with the, because obviously mm -hmm. with the Magical Miracle, you're just going to draw the card from hand. And Crashing Armor. Oh, that's important. Energy there. I think Darcy still has an energy spinner in his hand. Yes, so. uh, like Darcy still would need only tech switch and switch. Yeah. Oh, actually, he has the last two energies in the prizes. So if one one energy is discarded here, magical miracle will not happen. Oh, unless but it takes I a don't knockout. think. Yeah. So if Darcy wants the magical miracle at some point, it probably would need th to be this turn. Yeah. And indeed. I think he knows that too. So yeah. I don't think he wants to stretch it one more turn because that yeah. might put him in a dangerous situation. Yeah. Jasper very wisely shuffling back in the Oranguru but yep. because he knows one is prized. And this is last one, which is active right now. Yes. So if he doesn't shuffle it back in, he will just lose. Yeah. So yeah. Darcy has one more That's custom. That's very important. One more double custom catcher. I mean, a custom catcher pair and the reason stamp in the deck. So let's see what he goes for. He goes for the custom catcher, which I do like. Well, one Pidgeotto will get knocked out this <laughs> turn. <laughs> just was like, yeah which, yeah, which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> the one with the blue counter or the red counter? Yeah, the oh, one that with collect or quick attack. There's one with the 60 and the 50 HP now. That is yeah, very relevant. I think you take out. I think you take out the one with quick attack. Yeah, and micro decisions. You might. It's <laughs> not. It, it won't be relevant. But <laughs> this you game. You never know. You never know. Well, let's see what Darcy would go for here. He does have a lot of dead cards in his hand, and uh, yeah, there's a switch. Probably a tech ooh. switch following it up. So yeah, Dar Oh, oh, there was. Uh, okay, he's just oh, going for Kaleidostorm. Kaleidostorm. Fair, okay. fair, fair. Then he. Probably won't go for Magic America this game. Okay. Like, because. Uh, Did he draw a prize card? Our yeah, prize he, drew, he drew a prize card. He drew a prize card. Um, I think that our prize cards might be frozen then. We'll get on that soon. 
No. Um, yeah, as we see, the Articuno come down. Um, probably this turn. Uh, he w yeah, there's the Magneton being grabbed. So. Yeah, as we see, the price cards are fine. He's down to two. Oh, now, now he's down to two. Now he's um, back to normal. Um, yeah, Jesse and James. Jesse and James. Malo Lana. He plays Malo Lana. That's yeah, very interesting. That's yeah, I think uh, that's an inclusion you need to have right now because, yeah. um, like, Cryogonal is a thing. If they just yep. cro if you like, Melo and Lana is the card that makes you win versus Cryogonal yes. because Cryogonal hits for 40 every turn. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it it's similar three to shots Champions. You. It's similar to Champions Festival because you need them to force the lock. Like yeah, if you if you have the combination of both, you're really safe. Yes, you're absolutely safe. But if you have if you have one like. If you uh, can only play either, I would think the Melo and Lana is more important because it's an extra switching effect and the healing uh, like is more instant. It's not like um, with Champions Festival where you need to stack it up and heal every single turn. I Just uh, heal once for 120 and heal your Oranguru back to four. Um, yeah, there's a reset stand, so probably the lock will come in this turn, as expected. Well, Darcy still has the... Magic Grand Miracle, right? Yeah, but yeah, he didn't that use it. That shots Yeah, but yeah. Mm, so he ne he would need a switch, but yep. I think Jasper won't give him a switch yeah, at I any point. So. Like Jasper would have get have to get really unlucky off of the chip chip ice axe. Yes. Um, Just free switches. <laughs> Just draw but it. There's a power plant on top for Darcy right now. So. And Jasper still has to play those two supporters. There we go. The Jesse and James. Yes. The lock is on. Darcy knows he's he's smiling. He's still taking it with, like like a good sportsman. Like yeah. he knows what's going to happen. Also, that's something like when you pick your deck for regionals, sometimes you, you choose to, accept. to you choose to include like he chose to include not to include Oma Star or Rangru in yeah. his deck, which some God of War players did, because he was like, okay, I'm fine. I know I'm losing to Pidgeotto yeah. probably, but I include some other cards in my deck, like maybe a Choice Helmet or the Island Challenge Amulet, which will make my matchup against other kinds of decks like tag team decks uh, Tails on the a lot stronger yeah there's Tails on the crushing hammer so yeah we will see definitely see the cold crush gx but crushing all the energy away from the god of war Oof, and, and then a power plant, let's I think. just draw pass mm. but now jesper needs to recycle his um, yes. chip chip ice axes because that uh, if he doesn't, then it gives uh, Darcy a chance to top deck, top deck. and he only needs um, a switch, or a yeah, a switch right now, Anything, but really. I don't think Jasper will leave his Articuno in the active. Yeah, he already has the U-turn board and the recycle energy, so yeah. that's a, that's a Very good preparation by Jasper, like, just yeah. have that ready, be able to retreat without even playing a supporter card. Um, yeah, I think before with the Articuno he retreated, um, I don't know how, uh, I don't know, I missed it. Um, because obviously the ability is shut off by Articuno, but I'm pretty sure he had a way to switch. Uh, I probably missed it. Um, uh, I think I think the Magneton was active, and then oh yeah, and then he just uh, sacrificed it. Fair enough. So Mars draws two. This card is the power plant, I guess. There's and another uh, chip ice. chip. Yeah. He gives him a Pokemon. <laughs> well, now it's gonna the be lock is in full effect, and then Jasper will probably recycle. Well, guys, two grab chip a snack because this is gonna be a long day. We still have nine minutes of this, and uh, we might see some Pog Temp action if he just has three cards that he does not want him to draw. Yeah, but then again, probably two chip chips right yeah. there, just to be safe. Because if you if the first chip chip Isaac misses and you have two in deck, like you just can chip chip Isaac again, yeah. and then <laughs> and be like, on well, the safe. Thank you. Be thank on the safe side. Um. So and as well, if Jasper is able to discard an energy here, that might be troublesome. As well, Darcy needs to, um, you know, knock out the Articuno, which is in the bench. Yeah. And, and another Pokemon for Darcy. Jasper is like, you're playing the Pokemon TCG. There's some Pokemon for you. <laughs> Even though you only play six. Yes, yeah, have some. all of them. <laughs> and uh, resource management. He doesn't care what Darcy's going to draw, because it's just probably uh, Jesse and James that, I'm going to guess. And Darcy's like, yes, you go. Draw pass. Now we will see just Jasper pl play play some play out some solitaire action. Yeah, some like solitaire action. <laughs> but still, you, you need to be concentrated. You need to be focused. You need to execute properly. Yes. And that's what makes the deck so hard to play. Like I've talked to a lot of people who just Chaos. try to pick it up for their locals and stuff, and they just mess it up horribly because they were not tease. focused One enough. One more Pokemon. Come on, Jasper. 
Yeah, he knows that Darcy's hand is completely dead. Like, also the micro decisions you have to make with Pidgeotto are really interesting. Yes. You, so you have to make the decision, do you chip chip Ice Axe and be like, okay, it's just random chance which card do I hit from the top, or do I accumulate dead cards in my opponent's hand, then yeah. Bella Bella Bryce Man, the cards that are probably good, yes, and mill them yes. from a stack, then reset stamp, and then chip chip Ice Axe. So takes. good. So you, like, there's a lot of actions that yeah. you can do in different ways to give yourself the maximum chance to keep the lock going. Yeah. And that's was this is what makes it uh, really interesting and like the good players will have the most optimal ways to keep the lock up. As we see the and crushing even as you hammer said, it's so many choices and it's like wow that's one energy discard. Darcy is really expiring and saying, Oh well, I don't know. There's a tag switch Two tag switches, I think, actually. Yeah, and just but the like, whatever, it's just two energies. Right now. You can fairy song, I don't care. That's still not gonna be because you need to attach on the bench. But as we were saying, like, you need to take so many micro decisions with uh, Pidgeotto. It's really a brain tease. Um, and I oh, know it actually was a catcher, a great catcher. You could catch the Articuno, but that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, because Jesper alre also already has to recycle energy in hand. Yeah, he already just attaches preventively because he knows that might happen. And knowing your opponent's hand, knowing what he will draw, it really f it's a really a feel-bad moment when you go against the PGR and you don't have the tools to deal with it. You know, some people have dealt it with adding uh, Cyrus Prism, which mm -hmm. really helps uh, um, if you want to, like, reduce them. They need to set up again. Um, or sometimes the Striker or the Absol um, or the Sloking I see some people play. But that's not enough sometimes. Sometimes they just mill, for example, with Belalba and Brightman. Yeah. Like that, that's what I was talking about. If you just, if you know you can't lock them, just mill yep. aggressively and hope you. Like if you play versus Baby Brassephalon, right? They yes. have all the PGs, they have all the fire just mill Victini and the Victini Prism Star. And but if you just mill Victini, <laughs> you're <laughs> good to go. Don't need to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> we can all go home. Let's see Jasper, because Jasper obviously right now he's just in a transitional period. He's going for you know I'm just gonna control what you draw, but at the point I will start to stamping you, Jesse and James that, and I speak that. So every turn, I will control where you draw, mill you for two cards, control where you draw 100%. There's and a switch, uh, there's yeah, a fairy, fairy song. song. But that's just one energy. Darcy might realize it's not going anywhere. It's a bit heartbreaking for him. Yeah, he's just he's just doing it just to do something. Let's you see know. how long you can keep this up. I'm going to keep you here. You decided to play this deck. Yeah, I, I will make you win yeah. the game. I, will just n I won't concede just yet. Yeah. I will make... You take yeah. me out. Chat will have to suffer this. That's what you get, guys. <laughs> and he draws for that's free card in hand. Just says, "Yep, I've got to draw them all." And the Belalbin Bryson man, mills free. That's not useful. That's meh. And that's the Faba is pretty you. useful. Yeah, he would have probably just discard retreated on the recycle energy. And that's another hammer. It's not looking good for Darcy. Another Darcy hammer. hammer. Coming down, yeah, that's it's the, the tails. tails, but like the hammers, the hammer flips Guys, are irre irrelevant. Two tags, which or actually, mm, yeah, maybe do does ju just but doesn't know how many energies does he plays. He probably so has a guess, you know. Yeah, he, he, he probably plays 16. He, it's what he's thinking right now, and uh, just for he's like, well, go draw your card, draw your last pathetic card, Yugi, and it's a tag switch. So fairy song. I'm gonna look for my deck. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, look at all those energies <laughs> I'm having. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I have all the energies in here. Oh, wait, there's none. You know, I have this theory that you should play a Blalp and Bryson Man in every deck. Because sometimes you just win like that. Like, you against just draw Stall, it just draw it, Blalp and Bryson Man. I win the game. That's it. It's so good. And also the secondary effect. It's like a parallel city for both players. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, oh. I guess. I, um, I think... Yeah, I was talking about uh, about that. Like when the card came out, I was talking about that with a few people. Just like, yeah, is this card like good enough to include to it played? in decks that are not mill decks? Yeah. And yeah, getting rid of your bench is a really powerful effect. But since you get rid of your opponent's bench too, it's yeah. just like your opponent appreciates it most of the time. They they like it as well. Yeah. Uh, so you don't want to do your opponent that favor by playing it for the uh, the extra effect. But Indeed. yeah, I can I I understand it. Like, and it's obviously a great tool for for those yeah. mill decks. Just make them have uh, a win condition that is like that goes like a little bit faster and um, make them be able to finish actually finish games in like 25, Indeed. 35 Indeed. minutes. So Jasper right now just chilling, straight up chilling. He reset stamps him. 
but that's not going to be enough to maybe mill him out. With a blood my Bryson, man, he would have done that. But obviously, he would have not drawn that. So let's see what Jesper um, will probably just keep going for with the... I don't think there will be a point in which we reach critical, like, a critical point in which there's only good cards there. No, I don't think so, because in God of War, you play a lot of uh, cards that actually don't help you very much. Also, yeah. also Darcy has no energies left. Yes. Like, he's completely out of energy. So there's literally nothing he can do. Yeah, I um, don't think there would be a... He's probably just hoping for an error from the Jesper side. Yeah, you can always do that. Like, if your opponent messes up, if she ac accidentally says, like, pass instead of resource yeah. management, I've seen people do that. It's so an APM deck. Like, you, you are... You, for one second, you're distracted. That's gonna pay. Like, you go, that's gonna make you pay. And Darcy's just like, yep, go, make a mistake, please. I really like, like, growing the back Lelba. the communication, like the po uh, the Poker Gears, um, like, the it's a, it's a nice combo that you can do. Like, it allows you to, if you resource manage back, yeah, these combination of yes. cards, it allows you to play two Bella Bella Bryson Mans Indeed. At in one turn, even though you only have you one in deck. And with this that's turn we will see it. Yeah, that's something like we figured out uh, when so we tested Shedinja last year. There yeah. was actually a combination of cards that you could do to double mass every turn with only one mass in deck. So Talking like gear, yeah. and there it is. Beloved and Bryson, yeah. man. Beloved and Bryson, man. GG, there's the handshake. Hi. Jesper Eriksson takes the game. Um, yeah, very, so very well executed. Um, <sighs> He had like no trouble in this matchup. I'm um, sorry, Chad. Next round will bring you something more fun. But obviously, you need to understand, you need to uh, like acknowledge the possibility of PGR in this meta. Yeah. PGR is such a strong deck. It's Tina Chomp, you know, there were some speculations that Tina Chomp would just demolish it. But that doesn't yeah, seem I to happen. So too. Tina Chomp, actually, I don't think there, there were just a bunch in the in day two. There weren't as many. Uh, there were like one yeah, just the high a few. tables. Also, I th but I think Tina Chomp is also a quite a difficult deck to play indeed, overall indeed. so um, sometimes he just rocks it like we see Xander Pera playing it beautifully in uh, I think it was turn two mm -hmm. and um, but you see if you make just a slight mistake with Tina Chomp you discard the wrong card or you do not play it out and you need to be very careful with your damages because mm -hmm. they can be limited also your energies um, you know it's a very fragile deck but at the same time that can deal so much damage so, so well that was round 11 of the Bogum Regional. We will see you soon uh, for... There are still some people playing, I think. So we'll see you soon for round 12. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Bye-bye. All right. See you then.